Hi guys, we're about to catch up with Sarah Morrow, Head of Business Operations at Jaguar TCS Racing. Let's go. Hi Sarah, how is your day going so far? Oh, it's been busy, but it's going really well, thank you. Are you excited about the race weekend for your children? Yeah, obviously excited. We work all year to get to these points, so yeah. That is the first one, right? Yes, first time in Portland. How long have you been with Jaguar TCS Racing? So I've been from the very beginning as we were setting up the team. So in 2015, I came and joined James to help set the team up. Wow. Do you, do you love it? I do. Um, <laughs> it's like any job. It has good days and bad days, but it has a lot of good days. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit more about your role as head of business operations? Well, it's, I guess it has three main elements to it. One is around some of the business planning and uh, running the business um, and organizing the team. And then I also have events and hospitality within my team. So tell us a little bit more about the name Jaguar TCS. So it's a partnership, right? It is. So Jaguar is the main team, but TCS, our title partner, it's been with us since season eight. Um, and the thing I particularly like about TCS being partners with us is that they are really keen on inspiring the next generation of engineers uh, into this area, into, into motorsport. Love it. So how did you start working in motorsport? Because I know you've had an interesting story here. I came into it really because I worked for James Barclay, our team principal beforehand, and he had said, do I want to come and help him set up a racing team? And that's how I ended up here. Wow. Do you love do you love that you were a bit of a new entry into the sport? Yeah, totally. And I love I actually love a new challenge and love doing something brand new. Um, and I think for me, coming and setting up a whole team from the start and setting up the business side of it was really exciting. What what's the first thing you do when you wake up? Oh. Other than going to the toilet, probably having a glass of water and then followed quick, quickly by a cup of coffee. I am i don't remember the last time I didn't hear someone say check my phone, so that's great. Oh no, definitely not check my phone. That is your biggest inspiration? I'm really lucky because I think through my career I've had a load of really amazing people that I've worked with and been inspired by. But I'm very lucky because I've had a lot of amazingly strong and intelligent women that I've um, had the pleasure to work or, or learn from over the years. What would you say has been your biggest win so far in 2023? As a team, definitely getting a first and second uh, in Berlin. Um, that's so hard to come by and an amazing achievement for the team. So I know you guys travel a lot. Yeah. On an estimate, how many days out of the year do you guys travel? Mm -hmm. Probably, I probably travel less than some. I probably do three quarters of the races. So maybe, I don't know, how many would that be? About, ooh, I don't know, then call me how many days. So probably, I probably travel 50 to 60 days a year. Okay, all right. What are some of the roles taken up by other women in the Jaguar TCS racing team? So we've got a varied amount of women in the team, from engineers um, and uh, into the more business roles within the team. Where do you think the future of women in motorsport is going? So I think I've seen a massive change since I have been in the sport um, and a lot of growth actually, a lot more women and a lot more roles. So I think the next five, ten years it will only increase, there'll be much more of us uh, in the pit lane um, and hopefully we'll see some drivers as well. Speaking of female athletes, yeah. who's your favourite female athlete of all time? Well I think, I, I have to say I love the Williams sisters, both of them. Um, I think amazingly inspirational, just says that you can come from anywhere and, and just have that drive and passion to succeed. Yeah. Okay, last question from me. If you could own any car in the world, which one would it be? Well, that's a really difficult one for me to answer given I work for Jaguar. Um, I'm going to have to say an iPad. Um, otherwise, I think the PR team would kill me. <laughs> I'll take that. I'm so good catching up with you. Hello, nice to meet you.